What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. My name is Eric and today we got a little project for the Trans Am. Like I said guys, today we got a little project for the Trans Am. I've been wanting to do this for a while and what I picked up is a fuel tank vent valve for the Trans Am. I've never changed it and I'm not sure if it's bad or not. It, I figure it's like 30 years old. It probably uh, is due to be changed. So it's kind of a little maintenance item. Uh, I do notice when I drive this car, it does stink like gas. Um, probably mostly from the carburetor, you know, venting in the garage after it's been driven. Um, so I, I'm gonna see if this is maybe potentially part of the problem. Uh, we're gonna check the old valve and I'll show you the new one as well and see if it's working properly or not. And I'll let you guys know. So I got the Trans Am already jacked up. So let's go underneath the back of the car. That's where this valve is located. I'll show you. So, going under the Trans Am, let's get some light on the subject. So, let's see if we can find it easy. It is, spotlight please, right there. Um, so it's pretty easy access to get to, but yeah, as you can see, I think mine is already busted. Let's, yeah, it was just kind of resting in there. So it's supposed to clip into this bracket to kind of hold it in place, but Mine is busted, so that tells you, I mean, just the plastic is old. And so the purpose of this valve is basically a two-way check valve. It's supposed to relieve pressure from the fuel tank um, if pressure builds, uh, as well as it lets air into the fuel tank um, as fuel is being drawn out of it from the engine. So it, it serves a couple purposes and it needs to function properly or your engine is not gonna get the fuel it needed to run right. So we are going to take this hose off. I think we're just gonna try and replace the whole hose um, cause that's probably brittle and old as well. So let's get it removed and then we'll compare it to the new one. All right, now that we got this thing disassembled, I got the hose off. I think I might actually reuse the hose. It uh, seems pretty good yet, yeah, surprisingly. Um, so really no reason to change it. This is the old valve and we will try pushing some air through it to see if it still functions. And so I'll open the box up so as you can see, this is the new one. It looks identical, um, but in way better condition. As you can see, if we try the new one, It takes a little bit, but you can push some air through it. So now let's try that with the old one. Definitely easier. So after blowing some air through it, you know, I actually think this one is actually a little easier to start pushing the air out. I can't get it to do it either way, trying to pull air through it. I'll see if I can hook up a hose here and try it, but um, this one, you have to push a lot harder and then it finally just goes, where this is kind of more progressive. Um, honestly, it's, it seems like it's working fine, but I'm gonna swap it out with a new one anyways. So another way you can test this. You can, I don't know if you can hear the air pushing it out. You can hear the air going out. If you put your ear next to it. Definitely can hear the air. It actually pulls air in quite easy. All right, so let's test the other one. So it seems that this is still working, which is fine. I'll still replace it with a new one as it does have 
uh, the right clip and it's not broken. So let's get this installed. So one thing I will say, since I disconnected it, I can definitely smell the fuel vapors coming out of that line. So this thing definitely does the trick. Um, it wasn't necessarily my problem. I'm sure it's just the carburetor venting fumes as well. But let's get this new one installed so it definitely clips in better and at least stays put. Alright guys, that's it for today. A nice, quick, easy project to swap out your fuel tank vent valve as mine was broken and so I replaced it uh, so it definitely stays clipped in place better. Um, mine appears to be functioning properly. Um, that wasn't my issue of smelling gas. I'm sure that's just a carburetor. I mean, that's pretty normal, but uh, I was hoping this was maybe bad and that took care of some of it. But uh, if nothing else, it was a good fix it to make sure this stays clipped into place. Um, and if you guys have a similar issue where smelling gas, maybe this would be a good thing to check out as well if yours is broken or not functioning properly. That's it for today. So make sure if you haven't done so yet to subscribe to the channel for more F-Body content as well as Camaro content. If you haven't seen that, make sure to check out my playlist and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything as I got the 6.0 LS build going on as well. So a bunch of stuff. Uh, I would definitely appreciate the subscribe and hit that like button. So we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.